Water will just simply, what's the word we're looking for? Come through there. And you'll no, sink before you put your bit what, of water. water? Because I've calculated it. What's Using Archimedes, spinnaker? when a body is wholly or partially immersed in a fluid, it experiences an upthrust equal in magnitude to the mass of the fluid displaced. And James May obviously can explain what a half life is. In fact, he probably is doing. The half life is actually constant. A piece of uranium will have a half life, and when that half life is passed, the remaining bit still has the same half-life. I think the word was coined by Marie Curie. The early 20th century was the time when radioactivity was identified, discovered, codified. Leaving James to deliver an interesting lecture. If you're watching this from an engineering workshop or technical college, this is not the correct tool for the job. Hello cyclists, I'm here today to talk to you about bicycle maintenance. Let's start with the most important part of a bike. You simply rotate this adjuster until the brake blocks are almost in contact with the wheel, lock it with the nut, and then less movement means that the chain and the sprockets will grind together. Make sure there is no play in the steering head bearings. If there is, if you can feel a little clunk, clunk, clunk. How much more is there of this? Well, quite a lot, but you know, there's a How long is this? 58 minutes. Mm. Explain talk. Talk? Mm -hmm. Talk is fantastically simple, Jeremy. It's just a, a force at a distance. That's why it's in pound feet, for example, or newton meters. So this building is basically a steel reinforced concrete frame, a series of uprights and then beams joining them together. And then all the gaps are filled in with these things, which I believe are called pot bricks. These are not structural. They're there simply to... <sighs> the four walls are precast pieces of concrete and then in the middle we have this which is the chimney breast and then there are steel RSJs running across like that everything else in between is just wooden floorboards so if we knock out that bit there which is holding all of the house up the roof and everything else will fall into a neat pile in the middle I have a proper British lawnmower at home an Atco twin clutch but I don't actually have a lawn but it's still something that's very pleasant to own as a as an artifact and as an example of fine engineering with a great engineering heritage. It's very difficult. So, James was boring everyone to death. In fact, there was only one man in Europe looking forward to 17 hours of mental arithmetic. 60 miles per gallon, my average so far over 5.1 miles has gone up to 50. Clarkson is to average 44.7 miles per gallon. But before you switch over to heartbeat, would James make it in time? 53.7 miles per gallon average, and I'm looking for 56.5. No. This is heading in the right direction, the uh, 6x4 apex shed of shiplap construction. It's a very simple structure, it has a window, but it's not really the shed for a man of the stature of five times Olympic gold medal winning Sir Steve Redgrave. The thing you've got to remember is that everything good in the world, especially everything good that ever came out of Britain, came out of a shed. Radio, television, jet engine, printing press, and in other countries, the aeroplane, the hot air balloon. It's a car. It's a real car in a real box. It is, in fact, the Toyota Yaris Garumana, the Gazoo Racing Masters of the Nürburgring. Complete bollocks, I know. There's some stats on the car which I'm going to show you in a minute, but first, to show that this isn't some sort of stunt, let's have a look at the box. The basic materials for making the bricks are fresh mud with a bit of water in it, uh, some straw to give it strength, and some sheep poo. You then use that to make the brick shape, and then you fire those in a kiln, and then you use the bricks to build the thing like a house, except, of course, it will be roughly the shape of a car. 